So what's up, what's up, y'all? I've been out a little bit, been sick, but I'm back now. Uh, I am driving. Also, my voice isn't 100% back from the sickness, so bear with me. And then I'm driving also, so you might hear my windshield wipers on because it's raining out here. So if you can, please bear with that too. But in this video, I want to talk about um, something in pertaining to the cleaning business, which is experience. Thanks to Artist Johnson, who left a comment yesterday uh, about... Basically, I was saying how in one of my recent videos, how the founder of Starbucks, I guess I should put my seatbelt on, but I, the founder of Starbucks, um, he, I said that he didn't know how to run Starbucks before he opened the business. He just did it. You know what I mean? And then he told me that uh, was something that I didn't know that uh, the founder actually worked for another coffee company. I forget the name uh, before he worked at Starbucks and so that kind of made him an expert before he started but what my what i then replied to an artist which was well just because you work for someone uh in a particular field that definitely won't uh prepare you to actually run a, start a business in that field and then he went on to ask me if i had experience prior to uh me having uh the franchise uh experience when i was 19 as y'all know i had owned a uh, franchise when i was 19 uh, but I was far from as good of a franchise owner as I am now. And I told him I did. So I want to tell y'all about that because I, I just realized I didn't even actually tell you. I thought I mentioned it before, but I didn't really expound on it <clears throat> as much as I probably should. So um, that's actually how I got started to introduce into this whole franchise opportunity was because I worked for a guy who owned a cleaning franchise with Jenna King when I was 17 and first of all the work was easy so I was like all right cool and I said but it was, what was really more cool was the fact that this black guy was my boss and I was so used to white people being my boss you know what I mean I did never, never seen a black boss and if they were like the boss they wasn't the owner of the company but in this guy's case he was the owner and I understood that his business didn't didn't appear to be as big as uh, maybe Farm Fresh or Liberty Tax who I worked for before but it was his and he wasn't a manager he was actually the actual owner and that was interesting to me and so then when I found out that I didn't have to have a a uh, college degree in order to be an owner like he was that was even more interesting to me and so with the work being easy the fact that you didn't have, a, have to have a college degree I knew that, that from that point on that that was something that I was going to always keep it in the back of my head to do because I felt like hell if he can do this and afford to he's still able to pay me the same amount that these other regular big corporations can pay me then maybe I need to look into that and so that's really why I got introduced to the whole opportunity and which made me wanted to actually become a franchise owner <coughs> Excuse me. and so I say all of that to say this if you're trying to buy into this business or or start a business in any other field you would be uh, not smart to do it without having experience in that field already so for example if I wanted to open up a restaurant I couldn't dare do it without first working in a restaurant you know what I mean and if I don't get some type of first-hand experience in the field that I want to do then I better hire uh, a person who who was very 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 well endowed in that field already to uh, help operate that situation because otherwise you're gonna be in a heap of trouble and I think even if you do get somebody else who's done it before you still want to have some knowledge of it me personally I don't get my money involved in anything that I don't have first-hand experience in all right or some type of knowledge of I don't I wouldn't invest in uh, a company that 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 does uh, I'm trying to think of something crazy <laughs> like uh, I don't know plastic surgery or something because I don't have any interest in it. I don't know anything about it you know what I mean but uh, I think that you definitely need to so for example so with me when I even when I was uh, had my first franchise when I was 19 I went and I worked for somebody else for free before and this was after working for the first guy that I worked for when I was 17 so after that, I still went and worked for another franchise owner when I was 19 before buying in because I just want to make sure that I knew everything as an owner that I could possibly know. And if you look at that, I still wasn't prepared. And really, in that particular case, it was more due to my immaturity than it was 
my lack of knowledge because I was actually a good professional even at 19. I was good at customer service. I was good at communicating. Um, and I was I was professional. But my problem was I just sucked at cleaning point blade, period. And it wasn't that I didn't know how to clean. It was just I was too lazy to take the time out to put in that full effort every single time. I took days off. See, now I know you can't take a day off. There are no shortcuts. You know what I mean? And um, But I wasn't disciplined enough to know that yet. And so that's just one word to you is get your experience up. Put in some work. If you waiting to buy a franchise or if you're still doing your due diligence, go work for another franchise owner right now. If you don't know how to meet other franchise owners here, what you can do. First, you can post uh, uh, or look on Craigslist and see if there's already a post for, that somebody's hiring for uh, janitorial workers or commercial cleaning workers, something of that nature. And it might be in the gig section instead of the job section because I know that Craigslist has been charging people to post jobs now but if you post in the gig section then you can post for free so it might be in the gig section so you might want to look up there and see if somebody's hiring for the position but the best way to get uh, working for a franchise owner is to simply go to the local franchise offices so go to your Jan local Jam Pro office your local coverall office your local uh, Jenna King office and any other uh, franchise office near you and put it, tell them that you're looking to work. Is there an application you can fill out or can you just leave your name and number uh, for the franchise owners to call you because you're looking to work? And and somebody will call you up. All right, and that's when you could just start working for them. And if you want to, if you're really serious about it and you strictly about the experience, just, well, no, I wouldn't go as far as telling you to work for free. I wouldn't put that out. I wouldn't volunteer to do that. However, if you can, if you must, then do it because I did it for free. But when I did it for free, I was already bought in as a franchise owner. And I was just waiting for them to uh, actually start my training and get my package and stuff ready. So while I was waiting, I called another franchise owner because I had the, the list of franchise owners already. And I called one other franchise owner and I asked her. Uh, actually, it was her idea. She told me I can come out and work for her just to get my experience up. And it was, I thought it was a great idea. So And I did it for free. You don't have to do it for free. Um... But it's definitely smart to do it nonetheless. You need to get that experience up and figure out what needs to be done and figure out how to detail clean. That's how I learned the best by working for other franchise owners who showed me how to detail clean. All right, so, but that's what I wanted to give y'all. Get that experience up, all right? Don't ever go into a business if you don't know uh, anything about it. I want to advise you. I know that we're looking for quick ways to come up and quick ways to get money, but the cleaning business is not just uh, a cut and dry type of thing is not like internet money or nothing like that you it really is a, a real uh, business that you're gonna have to work and build towards and you definitely gonna need your, your experience to be up as high as possible before starting so that's what I recommend to you definitely go work for somebody else before you buy in this is AJ Simmons thank you for subscribing watching liking and sharing and commenting and I'll talk to y'all next time thanks also I want to speak on this too because this was brought up Somebody asked about the, uh, it might have been the artist who brought this up too, but I think another person asked me also about the training that the franchise company provides for you. Will that be enough alone without working for another company? And I think that after what I've already said, that you can tell that the answer is obviously no. Because that training that they do for you, you got to understand that's what I think maybe a 12, 12, uh, well, actually, it depends on what company you, you go with. So some companies, it might be a week, and other companies, it might be 12 weeks. But you got to remember, the one that's 12 weeks is probably once a week, though. You're not going every day. And I know the one that you go to for a week long, you're going every day. So, uh, but either way, the train is not enough. You definitely got to get out there, get your, your, your feet wet, get your hands dirty, and understand what you're getting yourself into. And really, it's better to do that anyway before you get some money involved, go out there and work for somebody else and see if you even like the stuff. You know what I mean? Because you might, you don't want to get into this with your money all tied up and then you hate it. All right. So definitely get out there and see if you even like it. And know that, that, that the training that they put you through, they do a great job. This is a nice system that they got set up. Don't get me wrong. But at the end of the day, if there's nothing out there that can pick, that can that can prepare you for becoming a business owner it's just not unless you've already been one so the only real prep that you can have is already being a business owner before if you're new to business completely and you're new to uh cleaning completely then you definitely don't want to just jump right in you definitely want to go work for somebody else first all right so 
call somebody up because you know I'm about taking action, right? So um, I know you're like, well, dang, you told me to take action and start now, but now you're telling me, well, get my experience up. Well, yeah, right, but that's still taking action. So go call somebody up now, go find somebody you can work for, get your experience up, be studying business and all of that, do what you could do, figure out everything you need to know. Watch every single one of my videos, go check out all the videos you can find on YouTube and pertaining to uh, this field. And then go for it, all right? So I just wanted to add that in there. Know that training that they provide to you would not be enough by itself if you don't have any type of uh, prior cleaning experience, all right? So anyway, thank y'all again, AJ Simmons.